Hey guys, how's it going? It's Doconic here, and today I got a quick news update for you. Super hyped, super hyped. Um, first off, if you log into the game, you'll notice in the news feed that we have a whole bunch of information there. First off, we're going to have system and maintenance um, tonight around, uh, what is this, 2100 PST, that's 9 o'clock PST. That's around 11 o'clock uh, Eastern time for us, or 12 o'clock Eastern time for us, um, up until 1 o'clock in the morning PST. So it's going to be running for a while. Uh, uh, this is for the Super Saiyan 4s and all the new features, well not features, but the, like the stones, the discounts, all that stuff. All that stuff's going to be in. So get super hyped. I hope you guys are ready for the Super Saiyan 4s around the corner. Now, I'm going to go over a little bit of information about those events too. Um, I apologize because I know I did state in one of my videos that I was going to be doing the event analysis. This is kind of too late. I had to run a couple errands this morning, unexpected errands I had to run this morning, so I wasn't able to do the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta event review. Um, I'm going to try to do that tonight if I can, uh, so that way I get that out, and then I'm going to do the Super Saiyan 4 Goku one right after that, and then um, we'll go over the banners cards once they're available. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and jump into it. According to Zahal, thank you for getting this information for us. I'm up on the Reddit right now. Super Saiyan 4s have been officially announced on 7-7, that is Friday, at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, the Super Saiyan 4s should be out, and the Blue Stone is also confirmed. Now, I'm thinking about doing a separate video for the Blue Stone myself, uh, just in terms of which leader you should pick. Now, if you're not familiar with the Blue Stone, I'm getting into that right now. Um, essentially, what you do is you're, you can purchase a uh, the largest pack. At least on the JP, it was the largest pack. Uh, it was for standard price, but it gave you a blue stone that allowed you to pick one of the 70% leads. Now, I'm just going to say really quick: go for the either the one that you don't have if you have all of them, or if you have all of them, go for the one I would say Super Vegito or Buhan. Um, those are my two personal choices, just because those are the two that I would always use on a team. Um, uh, the the tanks would be good too, but um, just for those guys, because they're ideal with the 120 leads that you're probably running. Uh, the, the, at least the Buhan and the Kid Buu would think of them. Anyway, I'm not getting into that right now. I'm going to do that in a separate video. Uh, so essentially, the Blue Stone, if you purchase the Stone Pack, you get to pick any of the 70% leaders. That's Super Vegito, that's the Gotenks, the Buhan, Omega Shenron, and Super Saiyan Broly. Don't pick Super Saiyan Broly, please. I get it, it's cool because he's a 70% leader, unless you really like, unless you have all these guys maxed out, all two paths, and you don't even just have it there, maybe, but he's not really worth it, the LR Broly on a, on a villain's team outshines him, and you're going to have two choices between Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks 120 lead and the Korra 120 lead, so, I mean, I guess he would be decent on a Korra team, but uh, I don't know, that's just my opinion on the matter, uh, I guess you could get him because he would link well with the Super Saiyan 3 Doken Doken of the Broly from the Broly event. But uh, that's that. Uh, uh, but yeah, you can purchase it and pick one of those 70% leaders. I don't know. Well, stay tuned because I'm probably going to drop a video on which one to do. Now, the events that we're all been waiting for. The two Super Saiyan 4 events. Uh, Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. The Super Saiyan 4 Goku event. Please, Grandpa, remember me. That's when uh, Pan is trying to get Goku to remember her. And when he was going all great ape and shit and he was going nuts. The, did you see the title of this? Scarlet Flames of the Ultimate Saiyan. That's freaking epic, man. <laughs> Stage 1, the Scarlet Hero, Super Saiyan 4, Goku, Difficulty, Z Hard, and Super 2. They just skipped Super. <laughs> Clear the stage to win exclusive Awakening Medals for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, in this stage, Goku from Dragon Ball GT will join the battle with Goku and his strongest form, Super Saiyan 4. You won't be able to stun him. So remember, you won't be able to use a stun on him. Uh, Goku in this form is extremely powerful. They hit for about 100,000 on a Super Attack. So be careful. Uh, make sure if you guys have good defenders, like the, the if you're going to bring an agility team to this event, make sure you bring that golden freeze so we can uh, try to tank some of the damage from him. Um, Alright, so also the link skill Hatred of Saiyans will nullify Goku's damage reduction skill and increase the damage dealt to him. So Hatred of Saiyans, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over that when I do the Goku card and event. So stay tuned for that. I was probably going to drop on Friday morning if things are going to work out the way that I want. Um, boss information is, so well, I'm going to go over this again too. Phase 1 super agility, phase 2 super strength. So phase 3 is super strength again. So stay tuned for that, That's, that should drop on Friday as well. Then we have the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta event, oh my god, can't wait for this one. Uh, there is no way that, a, that I, the Prince of All Saiyans, could lose my head on the power of the giant ape. They also forgot a comment in there, uh, I was a little bit upset about that. <laughs> uh, Alright, cool, so Crimson Blaze of Glory, the Invincible Saiyan. Jesus, man, so epic. 
Uh, they, they they definitely set this up. So the Crimson Flash, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Uh, in this stage, Vegeta was from Dragon Ball GT will join the battle after transforming into Super Saiyan 4. Vegeta's power will be greatly enhanced. You won't be able to stun him. So remember, neither of these guys can be stunned. So cool drop reward is the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta medal. So you will need the Shadow Dragon's Link to nullify Vegeta's damage reduction skill and increase the damage dealt on him. For both of those, I would recommend maybe if you if you need to use those Link skills, because you can't overpower this event with a mono, with a mono AGL team, both of them actually, I've, I've done it. Just remember that um, you should use the extreme leads. I would say bring a Rose and a Merge and Masu, two different leaders, so that way you at least have the, the damage output and the key. So you're getting off supers. Um, phase 1 is Super Strength, Phase 2 is Super Tech, Phase 3 is Super Strength, and Phase 4 is Super Agility. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited about that, I can't wait. Yeah, so that's all the events. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta event overview. Uh, I'm going to do the event overview, the card overview, and then a couple of team building uh, routine guides that I have used in the past. I'm going to do the same thing with Super Saiyan 4 Goku in its own separate video, so we have both of them. Uh, for for your news and then I'll probably do a separate video between the redstone and the bluestone and which characters you should actually pull for though I'm sure a lot of you know if you don't know um, my, well, my personal choices are going to be two full power freezes if we get the, the world tournament and we get two redstones. Um, so two full power freezes to finish unlocking these two paths. And I'm probably going to go for a Gotenks because I'll probably pull in another Super Vegito in the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta banner. One other piece of news information that we do have here uh, for the JP side, just because there's no other real news on JP at, at this time. Um, we have the rankings in for the special Dokkan Fest of all the votes and everything. So the, this is the, the actual top seven. And these are the ones that I'm pretty sure are going to be on the banner. So um, we're going to have first place is Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Second is Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Third is Vegito Blue. Fourth is Gogeta, Super Gogeta. The strength one, which is odd. I figured the intelligence one would have it over him. That's just, I don't know. I, I don't get it. Um, five is Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Six is Rose. And seven is Super Vegito. Now, I mean, that's definitely, I'm a little salty on that. I mean, again, I'm not a major JP player, but this is a freaking good, this is supposed to be a good banner. I would rather have all the 120 leads, or at least half of the 120 leads, than these freaking old school units. But uh, that maybe that's just me being salty. I don't know. But anyway, that's it, guys. That is all the news for the Super Saiyan 4s. I'm super hyped. I can't wait to go for this. I oh my god, I want that Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I want the Super. I want both of them, all the banner cards, everything. And you know how it is with the second year anniversary. There's so many cool, good things that are coming along with it. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Hit that sub button if you are new. Um, I'm going to be covering all the information as it comes out. Thank you, and you have a great day.